Hello, this is iPro Repairs today once again uh, for another video of tutorials and with your main man money in fold again. Uh, today, our video tutorials is going to strictly based on Samsung A71 screen replacement. So we're going to take out the screen. We're going to remove the screen and replace it with a new one as you can see it's cracked but first of all before we start we have to turn off the phone by holding the power button for a few seconds and we'll let it turn it off we'll let it turn itself off uh there you go it's going off and then we will take the sim tray out this is where the sim tray is i'm going to stick my paper clip in there to eject the sim tray there we go I'll set it aside somewhere that I won't lose it and then straight we will have to take the back off first but before we do that we have to warm the back and this is my placemat heating placemat I'm going to turn it on there we go and stick this one on for a few minutes until it's properly warmed and then we can take it off but we need this Philip head screwdriver as you can see for the removal of the screens and we need this special tool as you can see to pry the back off nice and gentle it's very flexible very very thin flat so you can also use uh, what is it called business card as well all complementary cards as well something enough flexible to go around the edges to remove the back without causing any problems so there we go um and then you will need this metal special as well sometimes you need to go into certain grooves to remove things nice and easy you will need this at some point so i'll put that aside as well so we're still waiting for this to get warmed and then we can remove the back or the battery cover easily without any problems so there we go we'll hang on a bit okay <clears throat> now i think let's see if the battery if the, the, the back cover is softened enough to remove so this is the back this is the uh, tool to use to get the back off so I'm going to use this tool manipulate it till I get a little bit of opening here and push slightly in there and start Prying. There we go. There we go. It's working now. So we have to pry along. Be gentle and nice. It's going really steadily and very, very nice as well, which I like. Uh -huh. All along the sides onto the top nice and gentle keep going keep going all right keep going okay Hmm. Okay. 
just insert it a bit to remove all the adhesives there let me see if I can use this to make a bit more room yeah and then pry it along okay just to lift up the cover a bit with the metal spacer and start pulling it off gently and nice there we go it's all coming off okay Just looking to take it off. Nice and neat without any complications, which I doubt there will be. There we go. I think it's time to pry it off completely of the phone there's still some adhesives still holding the back a little bit so you have to make sure that all that is nicely removed so you can take it off smoothly there we go and it's off there you go so now you have to just gently take off the uh, what is it called the adhesive residue on the back so it looks tidy when you want to put the back on after you finish reassembling everything okay so there we go first of all this is the back and as you can see it's taking off i'll put it aside now i'm going to turn off the heating pad because i don't need it but the heating pad is also providing me a soft surface to use at the moment so i'll leave it aside i'll leave it on as it is now and i'm going to take off all the screws which are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen i've got 14 screws to remove now so i'm going to straight go into it from here I'll loosen them or and then start taking them out one after the other after I finish loosening them or unscrewing them I think I find it easier that way and a bit quicker I'm not the fastest of guys but I try to be I've tried for many years but it's not happening to be honest okay then let's come to the bottom Come it, sorry. Come back. Come back in 20 minutes. 20 half, minutes. Half
all done it's now for me to start picking them out there we go they are all of the same lengths and sizes so you don't need to arrange them in any particular way for the fear of putting the wrong one in the wrong place in the right place or in whichever way so you can just put them or group them in one place because they are all the same size same length so i won't bother like i do to the iphones the iphones have always got different sizes lengths and sometimes shape as well depends okay all removed now we have to take out the uh, what is it called the middle frame which is holding the screen this is the middle frame so we're going to pry it out by using the metal special again looking for an opening try this is this is supposed to be between the screen and the middle frame let me see if i can use my fingers there we go like i told you earlier on my fingers in other videos my fingers works better most of the time so you have to use your finger in between the screen and the uh, middle frame and pry along as you go nice and gentle and you can feel the clicks as you go i mean it's getting out there we go there we go so we are off with this middle frame there you go as you can see set it aside and before i do anything i will have to disconnect the battery to uh take out uh, any electricity going through the motherboard it's not good when there is power going through and you're still working on it so i'll take off the battery now this is the battery connector i'm going to disconnect it there we go and this is the main cable that connects the motherboard to the daughter board so i'm going to disconnect that one too there we go and i am going to take off some screws of the that is holding the daughter board to the screen before i can take that off as well but before i do that i'll disconnect the screen of the daughter board there we go and take off the main cable off the daughter board as well and set it aside now I'm going to disconnect the uh, network cable and this looks like I am completely disassembling the whole thing the whole phone so that was that is what I will say this is also like disassembling the whole phone so I'm going to take off this that holds the motherboard to the screen. I said the motherboard, the daughter board has a particular tiny stop that plugs a hole kind of looks like a camera 
but I'm not sure. Can you see it? It isn't a camera, but it looks like a camera. But to be honest, I don't know what exactly that does. But it's pinned and clipped to the daughter board. So I'll set that aside. And I am going to remove the daughter board off by wedging a metal spacer underneath the daughter board and loosening the adhesive this way it will come out nicely without any problems and I'm leaving you can take off this uh, end of the uh, network uh, cable as well but I'm leaving that on to make it simple for me not disconnecting too much but if you like you can disconnect and it's easy like I did the first one and I'll take the network cable out of its groove nicely set it aside where I can find it <clears throat> sorry guys and there is another black little tiny screw and if you're not careful you won't find it holding the motherboard to the screen I'm going to take that out this is it can you see it there we go I'm going to take that out so I can lift the motherboard up put it this way and I'm going to take the motherboard out as you can see this is the motherboard with the camera and you can take off the cameras by unclipping them from here one two and then third one here three and then pull it out or pry it out but for the sake of time I will put it back because I don't need to take out everything but I'm showing you how to do so I'll clip it back there we go and clip the second one back the sun gun and the third one back just a sec come back in an hour 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 give cup sim card you need a give cup sim card I'm okay Adi it's one pound stay there I'll give you one no I haven't got a pound it's okay it's okay alright we'll come back in an hour Come and take. Yeah. I am back now, guys. So I'll set the motherboard aside and continue with what I'm doing. Sorry for the camera shaking. And I'm going to take the vibrating motor out this is the vibrating motor i'll take that one out let me just check the screen some of the screens come with some of these uh, things so i'll check if it has it then there's no need removing it yep but this one doesn't so this is the new screen so i'm going to take off everything all the little bits and put them back and put them on the new screen so that's how we're going to roll okay so I'll set the new screen on this side and pry out the the vibrating motor there we go out nice I've set it aside 
and this is the earpiece i'm going to take that one out too as you can see i'm going to wedge and pray as some my my prying to somewhere that i can remove this easily uh, let's see there we go so underneath here there we go this is out Okay, I'll set this aside. And now I am left with only the battery to remove. And that uh, is a tough one to do as well because it's held down by a very, very tough glue. So what I would do is spray a little bit of high effect ochre glue a ochre remover can you see that high effect ochre remover or i have ethanol or isopropanol as well which i can use but i think this one will be quite easy so i spray a little bit underneath here quite strong isn't it just erasing everything so what I would do is uh, possibly wedge the battery out a bit to put that ochre glue underneath Okay, it's coming out. It is. So now I'm going to spray the stuff underneath it. Spray it underneath. wait for a couple of minutes I'll possibly give it a second some few seconds rather because this is already loosened I want to loosen it ah there we go it's out you see how easy and simple that came out so this is the old screen now completely empty nothing nothing on it I'm going to set it aside now and straight start reassembling everything back onto uh, the new screen. Just have to uh, tidy the whole place a bit with the battery as well. Okay. So I'm going to put some sort of uh, adhesive at the back of the uh, screen this is it double-sided tape to hold the battery back in place put just two not too much to hold it just firm enough so it doesn't go out of its place or socket there we go. So I will have to take the uh, white paper off it. There we go. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I 
nice I'm going to set the vibrating motor in it's easy on this firmly press it on top on the screen back of the screen rather and now I'm going to put the earpiece in as well there we go Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, there's something going on here. Okay. What I'm going to do is actually take out this because I've got a complete unit here. So I'll take out this to make room for the new camera to sit, uh, for the new uh, earpiece to sit, otherwise it won't fit. Okay, and then set this one in. There we go, this is sitting nice and flush now. This was actually covering this space there so that's why i took it out and if you haven't been doing this before you will not know what to do so always try and check this little tips and tricks and i'm going to take out this plastic that is covering the camera glass and also take this plastic away you don't need it there we go. I am going to set the motherboard into place. There we go. It sits flush. It's nice. Now I'm going to put the screw that was holding the motherboard in place. The little black screw. There we go. Just to give the motherboard some firm foundation screw it back in nice okay now I am going to set the daughter board into place this is it There we go, it's sitting flush as well, which is nice. And clip the screen back onto the, uh, uh, the screen connector back onto the daughter board. Yeah, and then put the network cable into the groove nicely. And then clip it back onto the motherboard to the connector on the motherboard yeah I've got bigger fingers and i'm dealing with tiny stuff it makes the job more stressful when it gets to these bits can you see Okay, I'll lift it up so you can see a bit more. There we go. Sitting in right. Great. This stresses me out more than anything when it gets to this bit. Let me see the battery is a bit. 
Ok. Still ok. Not bad. Ok. Now we have to put this. Little camera like. Stuff. Onto the daughter board. So. It holds it in place. Well. Partially though. Let's put the screws in, in there. Hello, David. Hello. Uh, your phone is what I am working on now. So, can you come back in 10 15? Yeah, right. Okay. And it will be ready for you, okay? And I'll speak to you when you come in, okay? The reason why I did that, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you something when you come back in, okay? All right. <laughs> Cheers, thanks. <laughs> so, <coughs> as I am saying, this is now clipped back in. So good. I am now going to put the main connector of the motherboard to the daughter board in. Okay, and then clip the one on the side of the daughter board in as well. Nice but firmly, so you can feel the click in, and then put the camera, uh, the battery connector in. Lastly. Okay, it's gone into, and I'm going to turn it around. Hmm. I'm going to put the metal frame on it. This is it. I'm going to put it on it like this. And test if everything is okay. There we go. So sitting nice and tidy. Smooth. And I'm quite happy about that. But before I put the screws back, I would love to try and see if the screen comes on there we go a71 she is back and smiling with happiness okay i'm not going to waste time now i'm going to turn it around and put all the screws back and now i assume you can replace your own screen disassemble Samsung A71 completely, thoroughly, and reassemble it. There is no tricks, nothing has been taken out of this, it has not been edited, it's all completely full. No corners cut. There we go, she's happy. She's saying hello. There you go, she answered. Okay, so guys, this is how to do it. So in this video, you can replace your charging port yourself. When cameras are broken, you can watch this video, you can fit it yourself. 
don't need to go to any uh, professional uh, shop to fit it and get charged heavily. You can do it yourself. Just master, a, just just get a little bit of confidence and start doing things yourself. You can. Seriously, once you do it once, twice, you start getting the confidence. You start building up. There we go. Screws are getting back in. Let me just see. Uh, I think battery is out too. I might need to see if I have to charge it a bit. There we go. Aha. Okay. Okay. There we go. Camera, uh, the screen was a bit dark because of the uh, brightness. So now in the shop, so good. I'm happy with it. So should you, because it's working. And let me just put the rest of the screws back. And I'll put the battery cover on it as well so you can see how it's pretty simple so how to remove the back as well and replace it there we go all done all screws back into place so this is the background. I'm going to set the back on by applying a little bit of what adhesive onto the back and then putting it on. And this is it. This is the last rituals I'm going to do. Put a little bit of glue. That's the B7000 glue that I use. I'll put the description in below and you can get it if you want it and it's handy it does a lot of job a lot of jobs for me and not only for the phones tablets and so many things There we are. Almost done. Nice. Okay. Right, I'm going to put it back. There you go. Set it on nicely and align it properly to the grooves of the camera. And nicely, firmly press on it. And it is all done. All done, guys. All done, as you can see. So done, everything is okay, everything is working. So let me check the cameras and see if the cameras are working too. 